Join Sam, a cafe worker on an unexpected night shift. A mysterious car, muddy footsteps, and a chilling figure unfold in this eerie tale. As Sam's world turns upside down, you'll be on the edge of your seat. Are you ready for the unknown? Stay tuned for the bone-chilling revelations that await. Don't miss a moment. It's a night you won't forget. That was a solitary cafe on a desolate highway, far from the nearest suburb, immersed in the eerie calm of midnight. This is where we find Sam, a daytime barista turned reluctant night shift worker. A student by day and part-time worker by night, Sam had always relished the hustle and bustle of Melbourne's daylight hours. But tonight, he's the guardian of an isolated outpost, the only light for miles around on this desolate highway. The night's silence is broken by the grating crunch of gravel under tires. A car pulls into the cafe's parking lot, its headlights slicing through the inky darkness. The car parks, engine humming, headlights dimming, but no one steps out. The vehicle, a ghostly presence under the harsh neon lights, sits in stark contrast to the surrounding darkness. Sam watches this strange spectacle unfold on the grainy screen of the cafe's security camera. He waits, expecting to see a weary traveler emerge, perhaps in search of a late-night caffeine fix or a warm meal. But the car remains empty, its vacant interior visible through the fogged-up windows. The minutes tick by, turning the scene from peculiar to downright eerie. Unable to shake off the unsettling feeling Sam decides to investigate, he steps out into the biting cold, his breath fogging up in the frigid air. As he approaches the car, his footsteps echo in the stillness, each crunch of gravel underfoot a reminder of his isolation. He peers into the car, his reflection staring back at him from the darkened windows. Inside the car is a mess. The seats are covered in dirt and debris, but there's no sign of the driver. A chill runs down Sam's spine as he finds the car deserted, and he turns back towards the cafe. But as he nears the building, he notices something that stops him in his tracks. Muddy footprints leading from the car to the cafe's front door. And as he follows the trail of dirt and grime, he's met with an unsettling sight. The footprints don't stop at the entrance. They continue inside disappearing into the dimly lit interior of the cafe. With a pounding heart, Sam follows the muddy footprints back into the cafe. The footprints, looking as if they were left by a ghost, lead him back into the eerie silence of the cafe. Each step he takes echoes through the emptiness, the sound ricocheting off the walls and amplifying his fear. The once familiar space now feels alien, the darkness gnawing at the edges of his courage. Sam's mind is a whirlwind of questions, his heart a drum playing a frantic beat in his chest. He reaches the cash counter, his eyes darting around the space as he searches for any signs of life. But, there is nothing. Only the relentless silence and the cold, empty cafe staring back at him. His hands shaking, he rewinds the security camera footage. The grainy black and white images flicker on the small screen above him, revealing the same deserted cafe. The car in the parking lot is the only anomaly. It just sits there, a silent sentinel in the night. But no one gets out, no one goes in, the footage just shows the car, and nothing else. His confusion mounts, a cold dread creeping into his veins. The footprints, the car, the empty cafe, none of it makes sense. He's alone, <laughs> yet he's not alone. The tension in the air is palpable, a string pulled too tight, ready to snap at any moment. Desperate to drown out the silence, Sam pulls out his phone and starts to play his favorite songs. The soft strains of the music fill the cafe, a stark contrast to the haunting atmosphere. It's a feeble attempt to reclaim some semblance of normalcy, to convince himself that everything is okay. But as the haunting melody fills the silent cafe, Sam's eyes are drawn to a shadowy figure lurking in the corner. The figure, standing near the kitchen service entrance, is barely discernible in the dim light. His heart stops, his breath hitching in his throat. The figure does not move, and neither does Sam. The figure just stands there, blending into the darkness an unseen visitor in the night. Frozen in terror, Sam watches as the horrific figure begins to move towards him. The figure, shrouded in darkness, seems to glide across the floor of the cafe, its form barely discernible against the gloomy backdrop of the deserted establishment. The only sound that can be heard is the eerie hum of the overhead lights and the pounding of Sam's heart, echoing in his ears like a death knell. The figure gets closer, its movements slow and deliberate, a predator closing in on its prey. Sam's mind races, trapped in a whirlwind of fear and confusion. He struggles to move, to scream, to do anything to break the paralysis that has taken hold of him, but his body betrays him, refusing to obey his desperate commands. He is a statue, 
frozen in a moment of pure, undiluted terror. Suddenly, like a dam breaking, the paralysis lifts. Sam finds himself released from his invisible bonds, his body responding to his primal urge to flee. He bolts from behind the counter, his footsteps echoing loudly in the eerily quiet cafe. His breath comes in ragged gasps as he stumbles towards the exit, his only thought to put as much distance as he can between himself and the terrifying figure. As he runs, he fumbles in his pocket for his phone, dialing the police with shaking hands. His voice is a mere whisper as he relays his location, urging them to hurry. He doesn't dare look back. The image of the figure burned into his mind, a haunting specter that will forever be etched into his memory. He runs until his legs give out, collapsing in front of a desolate gas station, the neon lights casting eerie shadows on the deserted street. He clutches his chest, his heart pounding as if trying to break free from his ribcage. He is alone, or so he thinks, the silence of the night punctuated only by his ragged breathing and the distant sirens of the approaching police. Sam's heart pounds in his chest as he flees, leaving the haunted cafe far behind. His mind is a whirlpool of fear and confusion, the nightmarish events of the evening playing out in his mind like a horror movie. The terrifying encounter is over, but the fear remains, a chilling reminder of the unknown lurking in the shadows. With the flashing red and blue lights cutting through the darkness, the police cautiously enter the cafe. The silence of the night is broken by the crunch of boots on gravel and the low murmur of the officers' voices. The officers, hardened by years on the force, approach the scene with a mix of skepticism and professionalism. The cafe, now bathed in the harsh light of the police torches, seems eerily ordinary. The officers find no sign of the muddy footprints Sam had described, no trace of the phantom car, and certainly no sign of the chilling figure Sam had seen lurking in the shadows. The cafe is as mundane as it gets, just a quiet stop off the highway, deserted but for the frightened part-time worker. As the officers review the security footage, they find nothing but Sam, alone, his face a picture of terror. There's no one else, no spectral figure, no mystery car, just Sam, seemingly frightened by his own shadow. The officers exchange glances, their faces etched with growing confusion and disbelief. Sam, standing on the sidelines, watches the investigation unfold, his heart pounding in his chest. The police find nothing, not a shred of evidence to support his harrowing tale. He starts to question his own sanity. Was it all just a product of his overworked mind? A trick of the shadows? A hallucination brought on by the solitude of the night? But Sam knows what he saw. He knows the fear he felt was real. He can't shake the image of the ghostly figure, its face hidden in the shadows. He can't forget the empty car, its interior grimy and unkempt. He can't deny the muddy footprints leading into the cafe. Yet here he is, standing in the cold night, his story doubted, his sanity questioned. The police, having found nothing, prepare to leave. They offer Sam reassurances, telling him it was probably just his imagination. But Sam knows better. He knows something was in the cafe with him. As the police cars pull away, Sam is left alone, his mind racing with unanswered questions. The night, once so ordinary, now feels full of unseen threats. He's left to wonder what truly happened in the cafe, and where the spectral figure could have disappeared to. His fear lingers, the chilling encounter far from over. Haunted by the night's events, Sam's eyes are drawn to the security camera screen. His heart pounds in his chest like a relentless drum, the echo of his pulse ringing in his ears. Every hair on his body stands on end, each nerve tingling with an icy chill of dread. The flickering screen, a silent sentinel in the darkness, projects an image that sends shivers down his spine. There, standing in the same spot where he had seen it, is the ghostly figure. The sight of it is like a punch to the gut, the breath rushing out of Sam in a gasp of shock and fear. This is no hallucination. The figure was real, and it was still there. Its form is unnervingly human, yet something is terribly wrong. It is a grotesque distortion of the human form, an eerie silhouette that seems to ripple and shift as if not fully solid. Its face, if it can be called that, is a blank void, devoid of features save for two glowing eyes that seem to bore into Sam's soul. Despite the chill that runs through him, Sam can't tear his eyes away from the screen. The figure remains motionless, its eerie gaze fixed on the camera. The silence of the cafe is deafening, each tick of the clock echoing ominously in the empty space. A cold realization dawns on Sam. The haunting is far from over. The figure had not left, it had merely been waiting, lurking in the shadows. The fear that had momentarily subsided comes rushing back, 
a tidal wave that threatens to pull him under. As he watches, the figure begins to move, its form seeming to glide towards the camera. The screen flickers and distorts, static crackling across the image. The figure's face fills the screen, those glowing eyes staring directly into Sam's. The image freezes, the figure's face locked in a terrifying stare. Sam is left alone, the silence of the cafe broken only by the hum of the security camera and the rapid beat of his heart. As the ghostly figure stares into the camera, Sam is left wondering, what will happen next? The haunting continues, the tale of Sam's night shift far from over. The ghostly figure has returned, and it's waiting.